just landed at JM Imports. The car's already on the ramp. bro you okay so yeah this is the man tuning my gtr today obviously i turned up a little bit late yeah um, yeah we started uh we were put the car on the diner last night mm -hmm. uh did the pump fuel yeah and then you, you arrived like basically when we were pretty much done with the 85 um so yeah anybody that is new to the channel so you're a race car right i am indeed yes you were the man responsible for all of the cars that jm race was the other day you mapped most of them yes we say? yeah yeah if yeah. not all of them I think, did, did I map all of them at race wall, all the ones that you have? <laughs> uh, he was working hard, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. How hard this man works? Yeah, yeah, yeah ridiculous. I, think, I, think it was, I was sitting yeah. there thinking the pressure that you were know, both yeah, it's a lot of pressure, have. yeah. Because obviously you, you, you're watching your customers yeah. go down, you're, you're yeah. hoping, obviously we're explaining about Hamid's car, yeah. Yeah. about the gap, obviously he said to yeah. me, I think it's a bit of noise in this, you know, don't send it, yeah. obviously. Let's send it. Mm, right. Because <laughs> that's, you know, obviously yeah. he, he's a tuner. Yeah. I'm like sort of racing. Sometimes <laughs> racing you don't care, do you? Yeah. So we we'll send it anyway. We'll For the customer this. specifically. Yeah, customer just said, yeah, just send just it. Send it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to break. And yeah. it was actually an ignition related issue. Yeah. But obviously he's going off date and saying there's oh, something wrong here. Yeah. Don't do it. But yeah. And like, let's, let's go back to the workshop. Let's check everything. Yeah. Make sure everything's fine. And then obviously everything was fine. So yeah. so don't don't do three 200 mile an hour plus passes here again. But we did it on lower boost, to be fair. Yeah, lower boost, yeah. So it was fine. The final number will be 1650. That's what I want, 1650. Ah, okay. Then it's 19 plus, right? You build my gearbox or somebody else? I build it. Yeah. You build it, yeah? Yes. Yes. Put yes. so your sticker Everything. on the side, man. We have the brace for the diff, we have the drive shaft, we have the wave trap diff inside. Yeah. We have first the six gears, we have the four drive output gear. Yeah. We have uh, clutches, main clutch, ETS clutch. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, you are good. I'm good. For 2000 plus. The yeah. gearbox is for 2000 yeah. plus. And it drives like stock. Yes. With the clutches. Yes. 22 blades. Yes. Yeah, let's see. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. One of the calls has gone, yeah? Oil packs, OEM, yeah, yeah. Bank one, not caught with the heat, so yeah. we've got two options. We'll just put some more factory coils on, or we'll go with the upgraded ones. We do have one set in stock, but we'll just try with the factory ones. The car's been on the dyno since 8.30 this morning. Wow. Um, done a couple of pools, then. Yeah, exactly. We've done a few pools, mm. uh, so the coil might just get hot. Yeah. They're OEM coils, and when you think about it, it's a six-cylinder. Yeah. And they do like 1600 on stock calls. Nothing's been modified. Crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So, so some, you've just some been over the day, you've just been going up in increments, just yeah. raising yeah, it, raising building it. Up, building up, building up. I noticed a tiny bit of smoke at the rear. Like obviously, I notice anytime these cars smoke, people in the comment sections like to say, oh, you like, there's something wrong. But can you clarify yeah. why there is? Uh, there is a little bit more clearance on the ball bearing on the turbo. So, as you saw, it's smoking only when you are lifting the feet from the throttle. That's right, yeah. It's normal, it's not a problem. It's just a little bit of smoke. So, the clearance on the ball bearing turbos, it's a little bit higher. And then, the oil, it's passing through the ball bearing in the exhaust side. So, you have okay. a little bit of one milligram. Yeah. Something like that. Perfectly fine. Uh, check out the engine bay, man. Uh, when it's finished, hopefully we get it out and uh, sort of go over all the parts for you. But these are all Boost Logic goodies. I changed them for you as well. Oh, yes. Nice, nice. They so were silver before, right? Yeah, so they're yeah. race ports. So right. went with the race ports. Okay. So what were they before? Were they uh, the teal, teal ones? Teal, yeah, but you yeah. didn't like the colour, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't like the colour. <laughs> so you know colour. what it was? When it when when the bay was clean, it looked completely different. No, I don't know that colour because yeah. it's a bit titanium. It needs titanium, isn't it? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to paint and do it. You want to show it off a little bit. Yeah, I reckon it's alright, man. I can have all this done at a later date anyway, can't yeah. I? I'm sure you're going to come back for a NOS kit. 100%. Alright, we've got another run. I 
Yeah. That last walk guys was 1506 wheel 1085 torque. I'm loving the look on this GTR right now. I've hated it for so long, considering the mod and how soft it looks. Just a set of wheels and lowering spring has completely transformed it for me. So, yeah, good. We've got, we're going big boys, yeah? These are for the big boys. Okay. They're so expensive. Lovely, that's all we need to hear right now, guys. I had a misfire issue years ago when I went to an event in Germany. Mm. And then I went with these and I never looked back. And replace all six, yeah? Yep. We're gonna do the whole lot. Yeah, plasma direct, my quad projects. We've got the own little fuses as well, like go in. Cool. So we swap them over. So yeah, it's a kick cap rig at the minute. Yeah. Loss, which you know translate almost 1900 horsepower. There you have it, people. Job done 18 1900. So, what for the people who's going to ask you what the plan is now? Obviously, check the car over, wait for your wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Romain will drive it on the road, check it's ready to hand over for pump fuel, yeah, uh, so you can enjoy it, so, yeah, 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 and then we'll arrange a collection day. Yeah. 16.06.04. So we divide it by. 0.85. This, I mean, this is just guesstimate, you know. So obviously, yeah. we like to give wheel horsepower instead of this. But in the UK, people want a great horsepower figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 85 is is a 15 percent loss to be the 100. So this just like I say, it's a guess. So 1889. Nice. As a guesstimate. So that is kind of what we're gonna run with. Yeah. That's the narrative, people. You've got the 1500 fly when you come, you've got yeah. 1600 of the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, gone, like, it's gone that way. One yeah. pump, guys, it did 1100 wheel. And you say that's what, 1294 that works out to? Yeah, nearly 1300 horsepower fly wheel, yeah. That's crazy, man. Yeah. And even on pump, it's like, that's, a lot. that's about the limit anyway on the. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're limited because of the fuel. Anyway. That's it, you obviously yeah. knock, you know. Mm. Quality of fuel, so 785 foot pounds foot as well. Pounds, yeah, to the wheels. Because I'm used to these cars now. Not yeah. used to them, but I'm driving them all the time. But you, you'll feel the difference even at mm. pump fuel. You're going to be like yeah. blown away. Just explain to Ricky's figures. Yes, oh, that's pump fuel, ethanol. Uh, he's really happy with it. Nice graphs. It's pretty much faster on ethanol again. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 going to be quite lively, isn't it? So you reckon you could have got a bit more out of it, or? I think the 1600 is a nice place to be because mm. um, it looks like the turbo not really going to give more. So we just yeah. create more heat, and you don't really make more yeah. power. Okay. Um, so it's about eight, spot, 1800 yeah. on the fly. 1900, so yeah. It's, more it's, than enough. Yeah, more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. You could push, like, if you went that, but we're not going to know unless yeah. you want So we haven't yeah. pushed it where we've killed no, it. No, it's pushed cool, quite hard, isn't it? Maybe it's the only thing going to do is just going to do more and more and more pull on the dyno. And if you know where you are at one bar, you kind of like know where you are at two bar, mm. know where you are at three bar, 
and then the rest is like you tend to yeah. push it more like the drug strip when you're yeah. really sending it the, yeah. the main thing is also keep in mind we've done 41 42 pulls so we'll put it through its paces mm. remains happy with the engine i'm happy um you know so had any issues with gearboxes when you run this power like anything can happen you know, like clutches can go, gears can we break, forks there. can break, but obviously yeah. you've upgraded yeah, when you've been coming to your visits, haven't you? Yeah. You've said, you know what, let's do the this, yeah. let's do that. You've got, you've done everything on the car. Throttle bodies are still stock, obviously, yeah. but you don't need them. Well, he didn't. We did now with the coils. <laughs> the coils, right, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so <laughs> you've got the, yeah, what got I put in my car. Yeah. Um, obviously, you had your car. Um, but these cars are getting old, you know, in six, seven year old coil packs. How many old your car? 2014? 14, yeah. Yeah, so the seven year old coil packs. It's uh, crazy. So what now then? So you guys gonna like do some mapping on the on the road at some point? Or? Yeah, and we're gonna go out and do some, we're gonna drain the pump, the ethanol, and do some road mapping. Cool. I might give you a little draggy figure for you so you can have a look. Yeah. What it does on the road. Yeah. Um, hopefully I don't smash your prop shaft like I did with other cars. Yeah, <laughs> is yeah. what it is. Because yeah, because that's gonna potentially could happen. Mm. Uh, have you got the upgraded draft shaft as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's mm. done everything. Yeah, he's done everything, but it's nothing you can do with a prop. Yeah, that's just yeah. one of them ones. <coughs> wave track diffs as well, billet case. Oh, you got billet diff. Yeah, he's got yeah. everything. Wave track. He's yeah. done everything. Yeah. The only thing he hasn't got is the throttle bodies, but I don't think he needs them. Exactly. <laughs> I know. <what> I mean, <laughs> so. um, Mate, I'm over the moon, man. I just want to fucking get out of this. And you happy with it? Yeah, I mean, like obviously the, the the original plan was to. I was gonna go bronzo like the M4, but now I'm just thinking I might just leave it. Um, I might just leave it great. I honestly to be think fair. the set of wheels and this lot was perfect. Yeah. I honestly wouldn't put no daft body kit on it. Yeah, I you can't obviously space, isn't it? Because those the wheels. Other are thing, you know what? I would. I know it's like especially on BMW, you know, Evo Disney. Yeah. Uh, since they're starting doing it, but I think if you go for like a black wheel, because I think they look very good like this. I've got the same wheels in the car, literally now. Have you? I yeah. bought the same ones, yeah. And if you get like one stripe. The same the, as this. Yeah, that's that's kind of. I honestly funny. think this this car looks good because the other thing you're gonna have issue wise, Ricky, is when you do top speed and events. Yeah. Is the aero like you, yeah. you're gonna you're yeah, gonna do four hundred and a half mile easy. Yeah. Like the OEM aero is so good. Like even when I did my runs with my car for V Max, like I had OEM aero, uh -huh. and you kind of you kind of beat it. Like, well, there was a customer car who split a ripped off. Yeah, even. obviously we didn't fit it, by the way, if anybody. Yeah, split it <laughs> yeah, he split that ripped off. Yeah. Some aftermarket front splitter. Yeah, well, and I was just going to facelift it. To yeah, be so I have seen it where aftermarket splitters do come off, or you have to either strengthen them, and they, they haven't been designed to do two hundred mile an hour plus. Yeah. You know, they're, they're for looks. Well, so. Most of them are just cosmetic parts. Yeah. 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 So you fit them like you would fit it like on the Audi or BMW, but then you do like. Yeah, to, to 30 but this to format, honestly, believe me, this splitter is designed to do like big speeds. The only thing oh, you're gonna oh. have is the indicators will come loose. We see yeah. that I uh, ripped on the, the Jun. On the Jun, I had an unrecorded speed at Vmax. It's not lying about. <laughs> oh right. Yeah. They literally went no through way. It flat out and didn't record. Risk your fucking old car, like oh, no. Bro. These two pillars ripped off. Wow. Serious. Like, seriously. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Just. Wow. Literally, I don't know what speed I was doing, but it didn't get recorded. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so Ricky's does come in harder, quicker, yes. and keeps it pretty much at the top end, same. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. See, thousand torque, Ricky's is about 300 RPM quicker than mine. Yeah, so the Project Tango is actually orange on there. <laughs> Just <laughs> funny enough. The orange one's an EMS kit, and the blue one is a Boost Logic kit for reference. Different housing, exhaust different housing. Different exhaust housing. Yeah. So yours Great. obviously comes in there harder. Yeah. 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 And then obviously it sort of keeps up obviously with his. Yeah. It's not much in yeah. it to be fair. And torque made exactly the same. So, so torque, we cap it. Mm. You don't run like three bar of boost all the way. Because otherwise you just like split the block in mid range. Right. Which is not very fun. So they're pretty, they're pretty similar. It's this. On Rocky is this, this, yeah, yeah, this, this and you see it, you can visually see it as well. Yeah. It's fucking good. It. But I'll be honest with you, yeah. 80 wheel horsepower, very, very 60 wheel horsepower between all these cars. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, notice it's it's not, it's yeah, yeah. 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 You're not gonna notice it. Just FYI, that wasn't my final, yeah, run. That's just based on similar power, yeah, based on similar power, spool wise. You can see where Rocky's picks up the power, yeah. So Rocky's is the dark red one, is it? Yeah, and they all literally, if you have a look at the torque. Pretty much exactly flat, all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah, they all cut. 
pretty much really yeah, all he is from 5,000 RPM is pretty much the same. Well, like mm. full sense. So if you think about it, if you had a launch control at 5,000 RPM, these will all be yeah. pretty much at the same power anyway. Mm. So this is the black GTR, uh, Jürgen, yeah? That's the one I snapped what? the prop shaft in. Right. And was he running a GTX? He's running a um, BL1300X. Yeah. So he was having issues getting grip from second to third. Yeah, so the event he was sending from third, yeah. thought it was an issue with his tyres, but it's purely, he's got way too much torque compared to like what you guys have, so. Mine is a bit That's all it was, it wasn't these tyres, it, just, it was just getting it down, he needed mm. like big tyres, you know. This car is a dark horse, yeah, that's one a car to watch out for. Stock shafts are good for how much? Well, 1300 horsepower the flywheel. The DSS, DSS are good for that in. Well, they're supposed to be like for 2000 well, in above, isn't it? They do have a tendency to wind back sometimes, the, the, the bolts, so you've got to keep the maintenance. They, are, they can break as well, can't they? They can break, yeah, we've had, I broke buzzers once, right. clean and yeah. off. Okay. Again, doing draggies, but they were three year old. Hey bro! How's it going? Did you say it was home time? Home time mate. Home time. Do you home know what? Time. You forgot something? Yes. I know what I've forgotten. Have you, have you seen my trophies again? This is you. No, yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> These are yours. So Mine, I'm yeah? Two yours. So well done for the 720S. You got half mile second place. Yes. That's yours. Full shot to another 720S. Yep. And you got the fat, quickest quarter mile time as well. 10.3. 10.3 yeah that's pretty yeah. impressive yeah. two trophies i don't even know if that video has gone so, up yet hopefully you get oh. some gtr trophies there yeah yeah definitely yeah. mate definitely yeah. i'm sending it you see all to the, the moon big, all the all your big power cars are pretty even yeah it's down to drivers i think really it's whoever can uh really? link romaine the quickest <laughs> <laughs> yeah romaine's getting terrorized man <laughs> yeah i don't think he takes bribes but <laughs> <laughs> well uh jürgen i'll hopefully you back what Co yeah a couple we'll of weeks collection, maybe yeah we'll uh me and Romeo will do some road driving, yeah. get it all buttoned up, get your new tyres on, new wheels on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah man, dial it in man, just, you know. And then enjoy it, and uh, Race Wars, the first one's on June the 26th, yeah. in Wales. Yeah, I just want to get the car back, collect it, first drive. Enjoy the pump fuel, get exactly. used to it, yeah. yeah. Dial it in, you I could, wanna... You could try a bit of ethanol on the road if you want, yeah. just don't do no launching, you know. Yeah. So you could, you know, enjoy a bit of ethanol on the road, yeah. and you, you'll feel the car, you just drop the boost down. Yeah. On ethanol and just see how it feels and just work your wheel. Work it. The problem with these is if you keep spinning the wheels, you'll end up breaking like the, the ETS on the car. So yeah, obviously, you've got the ECU. If it doesn't feel right, so yeah. you're not happy, just pick up the phone, yeah. give it a ring, mm. pull the logs off, have a look, you know, because you, you're running a lot of power. Yeah. There's no margin for error. But obviously, we've put a lot of safety things to try and yeah. make it as just put anybody, not anybody in, but put a driver in and, yeah. and just go, you know, but you yeah. have to like, obviously, so much just no, doesn't quite, nice, the car hesitates, doesn't feel right, like Judas, yeah. you know, it's obviously, mm. you have had the issue to deal with the coil packs. Yeah. That's why I want you, honestly, like. It's fixed, so you, you, you've got everything now, you've got brand new coil packs, you yeah. were quite old, mm. um, you know, that could have happened to you when you got home, Yeah. you know, after a while, so, mm -hmm. so it's done anyway now. Uh, good data for us as well now, but we do the big power cars, we're going to take customers, we'll put some yeah. new coils. I mean, I don't know how many miles your car's got, uh, I think it's about 40,000. 40, 40, yeah, so seven year old. Yeah. Um, to be fair, it was all right at 1300 horsepower, I just couldn't cope with yeah. 1500 plus. Mm. All right, yeah, again. So it's good. But, um, yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, yeah, I just wanted to just speak about the tuning. Next video, hopefully, will be collection and we will go over the full spec. I know some of you are probably wondering uh, what the full spec on the car is. We've said it, God knows how many times on the video, but we do a proper walk around, go over every single model in the car. And that will obviously be the collection video. So, Jürgen, well, bye now. Thank you. Till next time, yeah? Thanks, pal. Take it easy.